Hey, what's up? Uh, this is going to be a video request by a subscriber. Uh, I was asked to show how to take apart the, your pivots and put them back in the best way that I know how possible. Now, somebody else might have a different way. If you have a different way on how to do this, feel free to leave it in the comments. But I'm going to show you with, you know, just a couple little things on how I do this. Actually, let me get one more thing here. Okay. I have a little uh, drawer set up. If anybody has watched my videos in the, the past, they've uh, seen how I store my ballot songs. I also keep, like, all my maintenance things in this. Yeah, actually, I might be able to bring it on the camera for you to see it. Um, I store all of my knives inside of this little case right here. I keep all my maintenance stuff in the top and then all my knives in these other two drawers. I got that for like a dollar at a yard sale, so that was pretty cool. But anyways, how to take them apart and put them back. Because sometimes if you have a ballast song with extremely tight tolerances, it can actually be pretty difficult to get your pivots through the washers and through the bushing. So we're gonna start by, when you take your screw out, you wanna do it with your ballast song open and pinch your handles tight. Now what that's gonna do is it's going to prevent the screws from spinning. Because if I just you know, try to loosen it without pinching my handles tight, then you're just gonna spin the pivot, so. And yes, sometimes I I find it easier to use the clone screwdrivers on like clone hardware. Uh, I find it easy to strip out when I use my nicer ones. If, any, if someone's gonna say something about that, I can guarantee it. <laughs> so pinch your handles tight and you can unscrew. And this is actually my first maintenance video that I've ever done. I have these, these are pretty tight because I keep this Balasong uh, thread locked because it has very good bushings in it. The bushings are very good sizes so I can really crank down on the screws and it doesn't bind up the Balasong at all so I have good confidence in lock tightening those. So once you have those screws out what you want to do is you take another you know tool that you don't really care about and you poke it inside because inside of the pivot is hollow and then you just boop you just pop it out so I'm gonna pop those out <clears throat> and then at this point if you were going to be removing hardware to clean it uh, I would take your hardware and soak it in alcohol or wipe it down with a paper towel or something like that so then you can take those apart <clears throat> if you are going to take this apart for maintenance Another key thing that people don't really realize is you have to do uh, a couple. You have to do a couple things. Make sure that you're keeping your washers on the same handle. Your washers and your bushing. Make sure that if you pull the bushing out on one side, like to me this is my left, but you're looking at everything backwards right now. But if it comes out of the left, make sure the bushing on the left goes back to the left. So when I take my hardware out, I I separate it from one side and the other so I know which side to put it back into and then your washers will get stuck in here so I just scrape them out there we go <clears throat> and then you also want to use once you take a balasong apart when you put it back together you when you look at your washers you'll see that there's a smooth you see that shiny part that's the part that sits on the bushing if you have fresh washers, you can put in fresh washers. And if you don't, try to use the, the newer side of the washer. So the when you take it apart and put it back together, the side that used to be on the handle, make sure that that's pointing towards the bushing the next time you put it back together. So bushings will create a small groove. When the bushing, sorry, the, I'm using my front facing camera, so this is like really bad, but, um, It'll, the bushing will create a groove inside of the washer and the next time you put it back together if that groove is still facing 
the the bushing and it doesn't line up perfectly then it's either going to make it it's probably going to make it bind because it's, it's going to be really hard to get the bushing lined up exactly on the groove that the bushing had made previous it's not going to focus because i'm using my front facing camera sorry this is like a, a weird temporary setup i have to buy one of those uh phone mounts that kind of like clamps to my desk and kind of like looks to see my perspective but from here what i do um so i start like this take my bushing take my bushing put it back inside the knife and then what i do is i put the washers on the knife and i i hold them i hold them on there and then i jam the whole thing into the handle and then you'll see it doesn't line up properly when you do that so i take a tool and i kind of pull everything where it should go until I can fit the tool through there and then I just like wiggle it around to push everything like center the way it should and I take this and I push it through now you'll see this is the problem that we were talking about in the comments so it doesn't push all the way through so what you want to do is you want to take your tool and fit it inside of the pivot and then wiggle it and see, boom, it pushed right in. Now I've also taken this apart and put it back together a bunch of times and this one doesn't have the tightest of tolerances so it is pretty easy to do on this one. But if it's really giving you trouble, so I keep my finger on the back of the pivot while wiggling, I'm applying pressure with my pointer there and then I wiggle and then you know circular motions and that'll push like the washer if the washer is slightly sticking out if the washer is slightly sticking out like this what you're doing with this is you're kinda like pushing it back into place and you can also do that with the pivot out so you can just push this in there and give it some circle motions like this so you don't want any you don't want the washers to be in the way once you're putting your pivot through so just like that Oh, it's wanting to cross thread for some reason. Let's not do that. Sometimes it's difficult to keep that thing from spinning without, to keep the pivot from spinning without squeezing the handles together because I don't have two handles on there right now, so. So I'll just kind of leave it loose till I have two handles to squeeze together. <clears throat> Alright, and then the same thing again. I take my bushing, I put it in the knife, I put my washers on the edges of the bushing, and then I just take my handle and I jam it over it. take my tool I kind of like slide the washers closer to the handles there we go I can put the tool through give it a little wiggle oh I had a washer fall out must not have been lined up I can actually feel that these washers are in bad condition I should probably replace these soon So I'm sorry that the, the camera angle is not the greatest. Um, I did kind of rush this video together. This is just a quick thing for, are you kidding me? How did this washer get there? I'm 
I'm having to say this is the problem with battle songs. <laughs> Oh, that's the issue. I forgot to put a washer on the other side. I'm sort of like not paying attention. But anyways, you guys get the picture of what I'm doing basically. So I'm holding that with the back of my finger. I take the tool, I slide it inside the pivot. I give it a wiggle while pushing with my pointer and it slid right in. Now it won't always slide right in. I've had a couple that I've had to fight for a little while. So the tighter your tolerances are, the harder it will become. All I gotta do is put this last screw in. Well, that's basically it. So all I gotta do is squeeze the handles and tighten down. So. That's how you put the, the pivots back in the easiest way. So if that didn't answer your question, I could try to do something a little bit different if that didn't help you. So just let me know. This is just like a kind of like a throwaway video just for that one subscriber. So I appreciate you guys watching. Until next time. Thanks.